hi and welcome to visual basic beginners tutorial so let me show you how this works so we can always reset enter whatever value we want in there and click on total there we go and we can exit so what I'm gonna do now is take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together and let's do that right now hi and welcome to visual basic beginners tutorial so i'm going to start by clicking on create new right there click on that okay now the project dialog box appears and this is how it looks like okay for the beginners this is what you get okay because we're working on visual basic be careful not to select c sharp or any other program or c plus plus so we're working on visual basic select visual basic and we want to select windows forms and app right here make sure that is selected then you can give your project a name so for my program i'm going to call it beginners vb1 beginners vb underscore one and then click on OK. There we go. Alright, now that our form is ready, what we then need are the tools that we need for our program right here. If you happen not to see these very tools, you can always go to Windows and just reset your Windows here. There. Once you reset it, you will see the tools okay the first thing i like to do is to double click on this button the button is there right now and right here that's the button i intend to use but i'm going to copy this button okay so i'm going to need about three of those the next thing is let's look for labels we have label that we click on that and we also need text box there we go double click on the text box as well we have the text box here we have label label here and it's just going to be a simple arithmetic of arithmetic tutorial for beginners so i'm going to hold on to the control hold on to your control and click on the object then drag okay then the next one is I'm going to click on this label drag and drag because I'm going to be using this for my output now let's select all of the components together then you go to properties right here one of the properties that I would like you guys to get used to now will be font let's click on the font now that the font is ready, I'm going to select bold and let's make it about 24. Okay. And there we go. So we can then enhance as we want. Alright. There. You see this very label here? Select that label. Let's go back to the properties. I would like this label to look like a text box. So let's go to where we have border style. Change the border style to fix 3D. Now, let's come into the back color. Let's change that to white. Select control, make that white. And where we have auto size, let's change the auto size to force. So then we can resize it and scroll right down you see the text content in it let's get rid of that there it now looks just like a text box now the next thing i would like to do is to name each of these components select the text box and we can pin this property down let's go straight up here you see where we have name double click on name and let's call that txt txt first first num 
and the second one select the second one we call that txc second num and label itself let's call that lbl total there okay now let's give them all indicators names so select that very label here come right down here change the name to the, of that a total and this will be second number and this one will be known as first number there we go Let's reposition that and reposition these ones as well okay as for the buttons okay, we have the buttons here all right this one will be known as exit and we can rename that as btn the btn stands for button button exit the next one here is going to be known as btn reset so part of it i'll show you guys how to reset and let's change the name of that to reset and finally this one is going to be known as total and let's change the name of this to total btn total now all of the components now have their own names okay yeah one other thing i like to do is up here let's add the title so i'm going to click on this object there just click hold on the, to the control drag and let's change that to beginners vb beginners visual basic net tutorial there and if you like you can always increase the font size there we go I will now increase the font size to 28 that's fine for me okay all right then move this down a little bit and get rid of this now the first thing I would like you guys to know is you see this exit button to exit an application you can just enter application dot exit or you can enter end so double click on that button so right here we're going to enter application dot exit So that's a very simple way to exit your Visual Basic. So have a good look at that single line of code. Application.exit. So let's try that out. Run. And you can click on start. Okay. So now let's try the exit. There we go. The other thing you can use for exit is you can also enter end. Just type in end in there and then let's get rid of this delete that and let's enter end there let's try it again okay let's try it again just click on that and there we go so you have the choice between using either end or application.exit now i'm going to comment that out if i press an apostrophe you see this one the color becomes green so that is commented okay it's commented out and you can see this text is all green so let's enter application.exit Exit, right? 
so that's how you exit either you use end or you use this all right let's go back to our form click on the form and now double click on reset and this is how you reset you enter the name of the object txt first number dot text equals clear see, see that that means it's clear I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing for the second one txt second dot text equals clear and now let's repeat that same thing for the label I'll be L total dot text equals clear so that is how you clear your system although there are some other more advanced way to clear and the same thing other more advanced way to exit but uh, as time goes on I'll show you guys how to do that now let's go to total double click on the total we want to add whatever value we have in those two so let's say this label okay so the label will be where we will enter our text box if we say equals txt first number dot text plus txt second number dot text what will happen in this case is what is known as concatenation whatever value we enter in here is concatenated to this so if i say 2 plus 2 that will give us 22 because this text box only accepts string value so let's see let's run it and you see what i'm talking about and let's enter value in here if i enter 4 plus 7 instead of getting 11 that will end up giving us 47 look at that because it's been concatenated all right and the solution to that we will get back to that now let's first of all try out the the, uh, the reset button there and exit work as well the solution to that is either to use by value okay let's enter val which stands for value and then let's close this so you can see by value txt first number the text and the same thing here so let's run that and see how that's gonna look like there we go so we can enter whatever number we want in there and just click on total there we go so by value works fine okay so let's reset and enter whatever other number in there okay total there and that is how you create your own beginner visual basic .net tutorial so have a good look at the lines of code very simple line of code there that is those are the line or oh, that's the line of code that added it up that's the clear and that's the end so we can always put a comment and just enter maybe clear or reset and in here so another comment and this will be add up okay so with that guys let's call it the end of this tutorial and enter whatever in there okay so i'll see you guys later y'all have a nice day now bye for now